Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love making costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating everyone's favorite cartoon menace, Bart Simpson. This is an easy costume you can throw together with just items from the thrift store and maybe even stuff, like I said, you already have at home. It will be inexpensive to do, comfortable to wear, and everybody loves a costume like that. Also, who doesn't love Bart Simpson? Let's get started. Here we have Bart Simpson. I've got a pair of blue shorts. I've got a red shirt that I actually, it was long sleeve, but I made it into a short sleeve shirt for Bart. I've got a yellow undershirt, yellow pantyhose. This is the makeup I'm gonna use. It's Mayron liquid makeup. I'm gonna give it a try. And then I have some blue Converse here, high tops. Now I found those on eBay for, I think they were $28, but with shipping they were 40 around there. Good thing I like Converse. And I have a girdle. Now this is funny. I'm going to stuff this girdle with polyfill to make the belly that Bart has. And he's kind of round like a ball in the middle. So some will go in the back of the girdle and some will go in the front trying to create that sort of Bart Simpson look. Also, I have a paper bag. This I'm going to cut and this is going to be my head. Because I don't know if I'm the only person, but I've always thought his head looked kind of like a brown paper sack. So I'm going to be cutting this, spray painting it, and then cutting ridges in it, just like his head. And we'll be spirit gumming that to our head. And that's Bart Simpson. Let's get started. Here I am. I'm actually dressed in costume for obvious reason. My whole face is gonna be done and I don't wanna be pulling things over my face. So I got my head thing done here, the Bart Simpson hair piece. I just, all I did was measured my head, put it around my head and see where I needed to glue and just held it with my fingers and hot glued it together. That way it fits perfectly on my head. <laughs> Well, once I have it on, but yeah, it'll fit just like that. Perfect. And I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit with some liquid latex, or maybe I won't if it looks good without it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I've never done Bart Simpson before. I've done Marge like three times and once on my mom. So Bart was a new venture for me. I love The Simpsons. I've always been able to draw The Simpsons. They're not that hard to draw, but I mean, that's that's my childhood. That's me growing up. I mean, it came out, uh, it debuted in 1989. Actually, December 17th of 1989. It was a Christmas special, and that was the first time The Simpsons were on for a 30-minute long program. Prior to that, The Simpsons were a short clip on The Tracy Ullman Show. That was in 1987. So they've been around for a long time. Finally, they debuted as a full-length series 
1990. They go way back. This is not going to be a costume where people have to guess what you are or anything like that. Everybody knows The Simpsons, am I right? You saw that I made these prosthetic pieces. Now, I didn't make them on video. I mean, I suppose I could keep doing that if you wanted me to. It just, it just uses up time. So, if you watch my Marge Simpson video, I actually did go through how exactly I do it. And it's nothing more than just putting the pieces up to my face and pressing them on and shaping them how I want. It's very lightweight molding clay, so you can manipulate it any, any way you want. And that's it. I mean, there's really nothing to it. And everybody's face is different, so if I do mine, it might not look the same as yours. What I do recommend is just not going too far out with this sort of pronounced lip that they have. The further out, the harder it is to talk, so you want to make it kind of short you know or it's just coming out a little bit just to get the point across you know and then I have my two eyes that I made and again I rolled these into a ball and flattened them out and then I kind of put them in the palm of my hand to make them into kind of a contact lens shape and then kind of molded them into my hand in a perfect circle and then cut through them with a round cake decorating tip and that's 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 it there's really nothing to it but like I said I do go in detail about that if you watch the Marge Simpson video it's the same thing except we added eyelashes which I used pipe cleaners for in that video you're gonna want to have your spirit gum adhesive and you're gonna want to apply it liberally first thing we're gonna do is put on the lip piece so that's gonna be the first part of our makeup I think we should go ahead and put our bald cap on though actually first do you have a bald cap that I'm going to put on my head? This is the spirit bald cap, so <laughs> we'll see. I bought three of these when everything went on sale after Halloween because they charge way too much for them, like way more than they used to. They used to be like $3 a bald cap and they were actually decent. And now they're like, I don't know, $12 a bald cap? But this is a pretty, you can tell by the size of it, it's good, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. You want your bald caps to be large. So, this should work. I'm gonna put this on my head and stretch it down. It's going a little too far this way. Bring it back a little. You really want it to be smooth on the edges because that's where you're going to be wanting it to blend in with your paint and everything else, so. Mm. Once you have it on is when you're going to cut where your ears are. You don't want to do that with the bald cap off because then when you try to put it on, it'll split and that's your bald cap. It's done. You can't fix it. <laughs> so I wish you could fix it, but you can't. Myself, because I'm not going out or anything, I'll probably end up manipulating it a bit in the back using a bobby pin or something to hold it down. I'm not even going to paint all the way around my head. This is literally for tutorial purposes only because I'm not gonna waste my paint it's just an it'll be just enough to take pictures and and everything but when you do it at home you know if you're going out and stuff you're gonna want to paint all the way around your head and what is that a feather it is where a feather come from well that's maceo fur never mind <laughs> a big old clump of it these scissors aren't working great. So yeah, I'm just going to cut my ears out, fix myself in the back, and then that'll be it. I'm going to probably apply a little spirit gum just to hold it on. And see you in a minute. I went off camera to cut my wig cap, or my bald cap, and now I'm gluing it. That's so what you're going to want to do once you have it all cut the way you want it is just use your spirit gum and glue it down. It's only latex, so it's gonna be f flying in the breeze if you don't. You don't want it all over your hands. You can use something to press it down because that spirit gum gets on your hands and it's just Everything sticks to it. All right. 
We're all kind of pasted on as good as we're gonna get. Cause I got church tonight, so. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the, uh, I think it's the first time I've used the Mehran liquid makeup. I think it is, I'm not sure. But I've heard great things. I actually bought one and I haven't used it yet. So I think it is the first time. They have really great metallics, but I haven't actually used their liquid makeup yet. So we're gonna give it a shot today. But first, we gotta put on our lip. Now you wanna apply liberally your spirit gum adhesive to this lip because you're gonna be moving your lip all night. Once you have it on really good, it would, it's not gonna budge. It's gonna stay on all night. I had a guy when I was Marge Simpson and I said, I think I talked about this in the Marge Simpson video. We've talked about debauchery and how drunk people get, and especially during Halloween, if you're going out to the bars and all of that, they get crazy. So this dude was so drunk and he can't, I had the lip on, I was Marge Simpson. He comes up and he bites it and pulls and the thing stayed on. Like probably had a bite mark in it for the rest of the night, but it stayed on. He bit it and pulled. Of course, he just about got got his butt beat for doing that, but not by me, of course. But my friends and my husband at the time were not happy about it. Let's just put it that way. And I couldn't see a lot. I mean, you can't see great when you do the eyes like this, but you can see, but your peripheral vision is kind of blocked, so. You'll see how much I put on there. And I'm just gonna press it on. Hold it until it dries. I've been pressing it down and it look good. Looks like I have a white mustache. I mustache your question. Well, <laughs> I would ask you, does it look good? But no, it doesn't yet, but it will. It's gonna look fly. I put so much on there. But like I said, you're gonna wanna secure it on pretty good because you know, you're always talking and you're gonna drink through a straw. <laughs> which I do even if I don't have a false lip on. If I'm wearing costume makeup, I usually drink through a straw. I just put a little bit of spirit gum adhesive on the hat or the hair, I guess you can say. This is not dried clay. It's still wet, so I can still kind of manipulate it as needed. I put a lot of, <laughs> I put a lot of spirit gum, so touching my bottom lip. I kind of want to see what this paint looks like. It's the moment of truth. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a brush. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Looks good. This brush will take forever, so I'm going to use a different one. I don't want it to stick to my bottom lip. Let's try it on the foam. Looks good. I wanted to get a little bit of paint on just to see how it was gonna look. And I think it's looking pretty awesome. Honestly, pretty great. So, I have my liquid latex. I'm just gonna be going over some parts that aren't quite blending. Right in here. And on the other side, right here. Not too crazy, just a little bit. A little more spirit gum right in here. Let that get tacky. I should have some over here. Yeah. I gotta get an apron or a bib or something because <laughs> I dripped spirit gum adhesive onto my shirt and I had to take it off and try to clean it. You can't get that stuff off. You can just do your best. Now I'm going to continue and finish painting my face. And once my face is painted and my hands are done, then that's it. We're done. You know, it's a pretty easy makeup once you have everything on. I got to get my eyes glued on and that's it. It's like La Nina outside, so it's almost pitch black in midday, which is making me upset because I gotta take pictures and there's no light. <laughs> I need to get an inside setup, like a green room with a ring light and all that because 
lately the weather in florida has been like pretty day ugly day pretty day ugly day ugly ugly day pretty day and then you can't plan anything around that it's uncharacteristic of this time of year for florida it's supposed to be sunny and no rain for a few months we even go into a drought around 4th of July every year we're in a drought but this weather has just been really unpredictable well I guess it is predictable because I knew yesterday that today was going to be a crappy day because I needed to do this costume and because yesterday was a beautiful day so let's get these eyes on I'm screwing on my eyes and I think it's looking pretty good how crazy is it that the Simpsons actually predicted like 35 different things did y'all know it was actually like 35? 35 future events. Some of them that I didn't know was the submersible. There was an episode, I think it was in 2006, episode 10 of that season. And it predicted the submersible with five passengers, that submersible that imploded. It wasn't the same exact storyline. The submersible in the show wasn't going down to see the Titanic, but it was going down to see a shipwreck and Homer ends up in the hospital. But it was, you know, that was kind of crazy to learn. I didn't know that. And all you can eat buffets, like all you can eat restaurants, predicted that. Like, I guess that wasn't a thing in 1989. So they had an episode where Homer goes in and he, he, you know, he's excited. He loves to eat. So he goes to this all-you-can-eat restaurant and they end up kicking him out. And he tries to sue them for false advertisement. And then the same thing happened after that. It was in the future, like a couple of years later. A guy in Springfield, ironically, Springfield, Massachusetts goes into an all-you-can-eat buffet and he ends up suing them for false advertisement because it you know they, he got kicked out too so that was another thing of course it predicted the trump presidency and a whole bunch of other stuff but i think it's kind of crazy if you go online and you look it up it's just kind of wild whoa <laughs> bart is coming to life Pretty cool. I gotta get my red shirt back on. Hands are painted, and I'm all ready for photos. Don't have a cow, man. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. Bart Simpson. Of course, there's a bunch of ideas for couples costumes, group costumes. You can literally do a group with like 50 people and I'll be all Simpsons characters. There's so many different characters to choose from. It's comfortable, it's inexpensive, and it's iconic. That does it for today's episode. Tune in next week, Wednesday, for another costume. I'll see you next time.